and welcome to neutral side action and we're just about ready for kickoff and now it's time for the coin toss and it's brought to you by coke zero real coca-cola taste zero calorie enjoy everything The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. The Rockets and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down around the 24-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's in trouble. He guns it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. He really got a hold of that one. And he can't hang on to the ball. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's to the 40. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. He's tackled at the 39. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Defense were playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Makes it to the 31. it out to about the 23. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. It's second and ten. Ball in the 23. Throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number 14, the intended receiver. Here's the eighth play of the series. With a quick throw, they can't connect, incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kansas State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he got it. 
They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kansas State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good to Quick throw. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit immediately. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Just throws this one away. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Caught, open field, for the 10. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary, but the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A nice seven-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, you could throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So the score now, 7-3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. run and he's brought down it's second down five to go ball on their own 30 gives it left side and he's tackled around the 29 yard line I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. It's first down. And down he goes at the 37. I like the combination of speed and strength that this quarterback plays with. He's a real valuable part of the defense. Off, up the middle. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 48. 
First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Runs outside for a nice game. Quick pass. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. So at the end of one, Toledo leads it 7-3. to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check in. Check in. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Second and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gets rid of this one. Tenth play of the drive. Scrambling around. And they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. So don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks up, and it's good! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 7-6, Toledo. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Toledo up a point. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. Five wide. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Brought down around the 44-yard line. Number one makes the set at the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 35. run to the left there. 
He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 19. Toledo is up one. He gets hit out of bounds at the 12. He's into the open field. And he hits him hard at the two. Touchdown, Rockets. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Slings it. And they push him out around the 39-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because the play-action, it really puts a lot of pressure on the defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position. And it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Throws it deep. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. the big pass play. We've got a first down. And he just gets rid of it. again on third down. Flips it middle to the running back. Tackle at about the nine-yard line. Calling a screen will sometimes slow down the pass rush. So if you're playing a team that likes to blitz a lot, this is one way to get them out of that. Takes the ball inside. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on a carry. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's taken down at the nine-yard line. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. And now the ball is loose. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. 
They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. Toledo's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. It's been the air game, Kirk. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a star in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more, but still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. The Rockets will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Move 14! Move 14! Caught by the back. First down. That's a great tackle at the 46. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Once it all, going deep. Almost picked off. We played a half of football here. The Rockets lead is five. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Yard line. No game of play. That will make it 
Fourth and six. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Quick throw to the tight end. He's taken down at about the 49. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. On play action. He's got all day. Caught out in the open. And he is drilled at the 33. Number six. Fires it out. Got an opening. And he's tackled at the 29. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Knocked out of bounds at the 23 yard line. That brings him second in Nice play across the middle. And he's level at the 15. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. Touchdown, Toledo! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he adds the extra point. Toledo lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Here's the halfback. Runs it right. Nice pickup. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He fires. A junior makes the catch. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. He's scrambling, and he's sacked. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. He 
He throws a dart to the left. Number 86, the intended receiver of the play. That'll make it third and 13. Complete across the middle. And they make the stop at about the seven yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Fights forward to about the seventh. Touchdown, Wildcats. converts the extra point. The Wildcats saw one of their key guys go down earlier. Looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute put points up. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. He's to the 40. That makes it first and ten. Got an opening. To the 20. The 10. And they finally push him out at the eight-yard line. And he busted that one wide open. On defense, you can't afford to give up big runs like that. We've got second and goal. About a yard to Pater. Touchdown, Rockets. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. He makes the PAT. The Rockets running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. Three down and one to go. The Rockets lead it by 12.
back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. First and 15 now after the penalty. Right around the 36-yard line. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Gains his way to the 46-yard line, and that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48s. Three down, three down. Tackle to the 38 yard line. Gets out to about the 21-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From the 21-yard line, first down. actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. And here's another third down. The 10 completes. It's the junior, and he's taken down at the 10-yard line. This is the 10th play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the 10. Second and 10. 10 yards to the end zone. Less than three minutes in the game. He makes it to the nine. This is the 12th play of this drive. He steps out around the four yard line. That makes it fourth and four. It's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it. Guns it. No good on fourth down. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They're packed in tight on the line. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. 
Makes it out to about the 13. A gain of eight on the carry. The Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. He's into the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 18. That was a nice run on third down. Getting up field and picking up the first. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Just under two minutes in the game. He fights forward to about the 26. see just how much this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's tackled the 37 yard line. the end of the ball game and our final score in this one 28-16 rocket that's it for this presentation of ncaa football 14 for kirk Street, i'm brad nessler saying thanks and we'll see you soon